Do you utilize bone broth? If you do, do you make it or buy it? So personally, I don't use bone broth. Bone broth is absolutely beloved within the fasting community. It's totally fine to take. Um, the reason why I don't is I love soup. I like, I'm obsessed with soup. And whenever I try bone broth, I'm just so disappointed because it looks like soup and it feels like it should taste like soup. And then I have it and then I'm just, I'm so, I'm just mad because <laughs> it's not the soup that I want. So that's the only reason why I don't do it because I can't get over that but I know a lot of people that do. Um, generally, the bone broth that you make at home is the best, um, but there are many versions of bone broth that's now out there. Um, I know that like the kettle, there's like a kettle brand broth that's out there. It's got like some, the, some horns on a logo. Um, that's a super popular one in the fasting community. Do you utilize bone broth? If you do, do you make it or buy it? So personally, I don't use bone broth. Bone broth is absolutely beloved within the fasting community. It's totally fine to take. Um, the reason why I don't is I love soup. I like, I'm obsessed with soup. And whenever I try bone broth, I'm just so disappointed because it looks like soup and it feels like it should taste like soup. And then I have it and then I'm just, I'm so, I'm just mad because <laughs> it's not the soup that I want. So that's the only reason why I don't do it because I can't get over that but I know a lot of people that do. Um, generally, the bone broth that you make at home is the best, um, but there are many versions of bone broth that's now out there. Um, I know that like the kettle, there's like a kettle brand broth that's out there. It's got like some, the, some horns on a logo. Um, that's a super popular one in the fasting community.